The U.S. is the number one destination for Chinese students seeking to study abroad. But in recent years, a series of visa restrictions have put them in a tight spot. And the global pandemic has left many of them stranded here in China, attending classes online and unsure about their future. Tao Yuan sat down with a few students to hear about their experiences. Um, but like there's one professor, you email him and he's like, yes, of course, you can do, like you can watch the recordings and then email me, contact me anytime when you have any questions. And I'm like, thank you so much. Like I appreciate it. It's in the, like in the middle of the night. <laughs> and then he releases his um, syllabus and you can see the class is actually discussion based. So if you don't go to the class live, oh. you don't discuss with anyone and then I don't get any points for it. So eventually I still have to go to it. You started a club called the Left Behind Students Studying Online Association. Tell us about that. It's a support group. So basically we, we share resources and we hold events for people to hang out and mm -hmm. like network with each other. Yeah, since we are lacking all the campus experience of like making friends and networking, so I kind of want to create this alternative experience for them. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting any of that. You know, it wasn't planned out two years ago. Mm. So um, it's quite a new adventure. I just like, like meeting new people from my organization and knowing that there are people who are stuck in the same situation as I do. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like this little coincidence and like a very nice miracle coincidence that we can like gather in this place at this time mm -hmm. facing the same issue. I made some really wonderful connections mm. from running this organization, running all these events. Mm. What kind of opportunities do these students actually have if they are stranded here in China? What might actually happen? What are their options? Dan? Well, the first option is that they can continue their studies. Um, they online, can do so, I, is, for now. They can do so either online mm. or actually face-to-face. -face. Um, there's so many programs that traditionally are designed for international students, but of course international students can no longer come into China. So they have shifted for the Chinese students who are stranded in China. Now unfortunately most of these are at the undergraduate level, at the bachelor's level, mm -hmm. um, but that might be an option for you guys. Um, so that is one opportunity is to continue your education. Uh, another opportunity would be to do an internship here, get some work experience. Mm. Um, as we know, um, bachelor's is just the first step. Students are going to need a master's. Mm. To apply successfully for a master's, it really helps.